Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. I uh, wanted to share with you a, uh, a heating project for a greenhouse that I installed. Uh, this gentleman took my class and we learned some stuff about hydroponics and some greenhouse stuff and he called me and he wanted a, he wanted a heating system. I almost titled this video Death of a Rocket Stove. Uh, I know that's a... Uh, uh, well anyway the reason I was going to call it that is because this heating system that I installed in here I, I can make a strong case that this is better than a rocket stove. Uh, I know that may be a lot for some people to understand or, or swallow, but I think when I'm finished here, I think that uh, you'll have a better idea and understand uh, what, just what I mean. I'm going to step around back here and show you um, the, what we've done. Now, the greenhouse is pretty small, just 12 by 12, so we didn't have a lot of room to take up inside the greenhouse. Um, and what was, and any heating source you put in there was going to be awful hot. Now this is just a 30 gallon stove with the door kit that's for sales for $50 at your local hardware store. And it's in a uh, Durarock box. That's a concrete board that you put underneath tile. It's safe for flu, uh, not flu applications, but for chim you know fireplaces and stuff. And so we built a box out of it and put it in, in in this Dura Rock box and then we put another layer of wood for insulation on the outside. Now we have a 12 foot copper coil right above the stove in there uh, circulating water and we also have air uh, circulating around the drum. There's a connection drilled underneath the, uh, or not drilled but dug underneath the footer of the greenhouse here which has two four inch um, aluminum dryer vent going underneath. One's coming up to the lower part of this box here and one's coming up to the upper part. Okay, and then there's the copper coil. Now I'm going to go inside and show you the rest of it. Now, the stove outside kept us from taking up the room. But we also want to be able to control the temperature and have a lot of thermal mass. Well, as most people know, water is the best thermal mass that there is because of the hydrogen that's in it. The hydrogen has really good heat uh, absorption and expansion properties. I mean, that's what they use in them Stirling engines. And anyway, <coughs> water's a good a good thermal mass. In fact, they say that water this one pound of water is equal to five pounds of rock in thermal mass. So what I've got here, step over so you can see. As you see that the water coming up through the underneath the foundation here, that pecs coming up, and it comes up, and it goes in to this barrel here on the left. And when that barrel fills up through this pipe, it drains into that barrel on the right. And then there's a fish pump in the bottom of that, connected to pecs, pumping that water. This is a drain valve here and a drain. Uh, valve to let the drain out and it goes back and goes back around the coil so we got two black plastic barrels we've got a hundred gallons of water a hundred gallons of water at eight pounds a gallon is 800 pounds times five times the amount of rock would be that's equal to 4,000 pounds of rock for thermal mass in this little bitty greenhouse uh, we've got this fan sitting here which is a hundred watt fan it's uh, 165 CFM it takes air out of the greenhouse area, it blows it into the box surrounding the drum, heats that air, and then it blows back in that white vent, which is a modified dryer vent. It blows back in here. The fan is put on a thermostat controlled outlet. So the, wa the water is being run through the barrels continuously. Now, what we do is we under engineer the coil for the barrels. You don't want the barrels to get hot to get close to the boiling point so a 12 foot piece with approximately four loops and it'll raise these barrels in temperature oh about 20 degrees on uh, a load out there so if you burn it two or three times through the day you can raise these barrel temperatures up and get these temperatures up by the evening up to over 100 degrees which will hold the temperature all through the night it really does cut down on how much wood you have to put in it because it holds the heat in these barrels now when the barrel heat doesn't quite get it done the fan kicks on on a thermostat controlled outlet and a thermostat controlled outlet 
lets the fan start and blow the heat on in here and warms it on up. So that being said, with this amount of thermal mass, in addition to the fan, in addition to that being outside, I feel that this heating system uh, rivals and competes very well with the rocket stove. And this will be the type of heating system that I'm going to be putting in my straw bale house. Um, just a point of interest here, this is a concrete table that we, uh, we poured. We just poured that and drew the lines in it with our finger and then stained each one of it with concrete stain, made it look uh, like it was laid. But that holds heat too, so those barrels have holes in them in the top. And the heat in the barrel rises and sets and goes through the concrete and warms the concrete, and that warms the roots of the plants. And so that is the only heat, that's the heating system, or that's the only footprint of the heat and heating system in the greenhouse is the table that's got the two barrels. Now those barrels happen to be on the north side, so the south sun comes across the greenhouse and warms those barrels as well, uh, naturally, uh, through the greenhouse. Uh, you can see that we're already, it's early April, it's been a pretty cold, already getting little green things going in here, and it's worked really well, um, uh, it's, we've been able to, even on a foot of snow that we had this year, um, uh, with no fire in the, fire in the, in the, in the stove out there, too cold to come outside for the owner uh, he just left the pep the pump running and uh, the barrels did not freeze and it never got below freezing in this greenhouse uh, just through the passive solar by itself heating the barrels for a couple of days um, it kept the greenhouse above zero um, all right if you got any questions or comments just leave them below uh, I'm gonna step outside here and uh, show you one more shot let me show you a shot of this here right now we got 72 degrees at relative humidity of 33 degrees we also have a fish tank down there we're going to be doing some aquaponics we're going to be someone helping set some of that up growing some lettuce to start out with and then let's see what the temperature is outside Is that going to focus? Not going to focus. You're going to have to take my word for it that it's 49% relative humidity and that it's 55 degrees. And you can see that the doors are standing open on the greenhouse. So it's holding heat quite well. Quite well. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you guys got any comments or any questions, just leave them below. This is the uh, death of the rocket stove. Thank you.